Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my solo high round strategy guide for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Shadows of Evil. What an awesome map it is as well. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to pack a punch the Wonder Weapon. Yes, it can be done, and it is awesome. I'm also going to show you some really effective uses of the alternate ammo types you get from double pack a punching in a regular weapon in the high rounds. Some 50 plus round strategy. I'm going to show you really super effective and efficient ways to run trains in those really high rounds and also how to get a ton of ammo back instantly using gobble gum in the high rounds if you do happen to run out. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this series, please rate and comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave you to the gameplay. All right, so far so good here on round 30. Normally I do these high round solo strategy guides 230, but sometimes I do a little bit beyond that and for this particular map there's still a few things that I want to show you guys so I'm going to be going to a few higher rounds than this and uh, here I, <laughs> I try taking out the uh, the Magua's face with my keeper's sword but as you can see it wasn't too effective but in this particular game I was trying out a few different things to see what worked and what didn't uh, yeah so cross that one off the list but yeah, there's still a few things that I want to try uh, to show you guys in this particular series. One of those is Little Arnie. Little Arnie is the monkey bomb uh, type of special grenade that's available in this map. Really, really cool looking item and uh, super awesome effect as well. And believe it or not, uh, in some parts of the parts of this video that I've cut out, I have been hitting the box like crazy, spending all my points trying to get that thing, but just like the monkey bombs in uh, the giant here in Black Ops 3 Zombies, the little Arnie seems to be super, super rare to get out of the box, so maybe they felt it was a bit OP in combination with all the gobblegum stuff. But uh, in any case, we're going to keep going until we get one, and I'm going to show you guys what that does just in case you're unsure. Uh, but it is really, really cool. I can tell you that. Uh, also, I'm going to show you guys some much higher round footage than this a little bit later. And the final strategy that I'm going to lock down for this map for those high rounds. Uh, as well as showing you what the traps are like in the really high rounds uh, down there in the rift area. But on this occasion... Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, why I actually came through, <laughs> why I came through here, but I must have had some sort of mission in mind. It might have been, uh, we got some meatballs coming in. That's right, I think I was going to get a new shield. Uh, once you get this wonder weapon, it's like you have a false sense of security. Uh, because you can pretty much run into any narrow corridor that you like and do what I did just there. Just pop, pop a shot off. And any zombies in the area can't even touch you. They just get sucked into that black hole and you can get away super easy. But at the same time, you don't want to get overconfident. Because there are like stealth zombies that will attack you from behind. The uh, key to using this wonder weapon effectively is pretty much to stand close to the black hole. Uh, don't stand there for too long because once it disappears, you'll still be vulnerable. But if you stand near it, any zombies that go towards you to attack you will get sucked into it whereas if you stand back a little bit or you keep running to another part of the area to build a new train then you are going to be vulnerable to the zombies and uh, like I said there are pretty much like stealth zombies that will creep up behind you won't hear a thing and they'll windmill you like four or five times and uh, can take you down a lot of people have been complaining about that in Black Ops 3 Zombies. I mean, people complain about anything, really. There's not too much to complain about. The main complaint that I have on PC is the huge lag spikes I get moving between the various districts in the map here. Like, when I uh, move from Junction into any of these districts, like, uh, just when I move through the gate, I often get a huge lag spike, and sometimes the game freezes for a few seconds, as we've seen in this footage. So I apologize for that, guys. I hate to have any like anything like that in my videos I like it to be be smooth quality for you guys to watch but as I said uh, 
I was a bit limited in having to use PC for this playthrough due to the limited time that I had before I left for holiday, but uh, when I get back I'll be recording from console. I'm assuming that the same issues aren't present there. And I have a, a quite a high performance uh, gaming computer as well, like I have an i7, you know, I've got an AMD uh, 79000 I think it is. Uh, which was the best graphics card when I bought it. It's not the best now, obviously, but it's still really good. Um, you know, 16 gig of RAM, all that stuff, the latest drivers, which are supposed to be optimized for Black Ops 3. Anyway, what we're going to be doing here, I've got the KN44, guys, and I'm going to demonstrate to you guys just how effective and OP the uh, alternate ammo is. Uh, we're also going to be pack-a-punching the Nara Laqua, the Wonder Weapon. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, basically what you need to do is you need to hold your regular weapon next to the Pack-a-Punch. Uh, you'll get like the the um, scripting saying um, press whatever to Pack-a-Punch. Then you need to switch your weapon. While that script is still there saying press whatever to Pack-a-Punch, you need to, uh, as you switch to your Wonder Weapon, you need to hold that down for a few seconds and it will take the Wonder Weapon and Pack-a-Punch it just like this and you'll get like the Naralakwa Abguath. Abguath. I'm not sure how you say that. So it's really weird because it seems like a glitchy way to do it. But at the same time, there is actually a special name for the weapon. And it has like um, quite a bit of ammo added to it. It seems like it's meant to be pack-a-punched or upgraded. And I don't know. Either it, they've glitched out on the actual pack-a-punching of it. Or there was some secret way to upgrade it. Anyway, whatever the case is, I thought I'd show this to you guys. I don't usually show actual game-breaking glitches or anything, but pretty much that's how you pack a punch this weapon. And you end up with 25 rounds total, which is awesome. And it's uh, it's very similar to the amount of ammo the Thunder Gun used to have pack a punched back in the day in Black Ops. Yeah. But at the same time, you could feasibly get by with the... Uh, the amount of weapon you have in the regular unpack punch version of the Wonder Weapon if you do a few little tricks that I'll be showing you in this video. Alright, so we're going to call the Civil Protector in here and head back down to our training location in the Rift and uh, try out this new upgraded pack punched Wonder Weapon, the Apothecon Servant. Uh, it's actually more powerful as well. Once you pack punch it, it has a slightly different color to the black hole effect, and it has a larger area of effect to, uh, you know, in terms of the area where the zombies are sucked into that black hole. It's uh, it's really, really awesome, guys. It's such an amazing wonder weapon. Check that out, guys. How epic is that? That is amazing. I love this weapon. I love it. Alright, anyway, uh, I'm also going to be showing you guys just how good this alternate ammo is. So I have Blast Furnace, but you could also use like the Fireworks or the uh, the Thunderwall. Um, the Blast Furnace is pretty good though. Uh, fireworks is, is also good. In terms of like taking out a bunch of zombies, you saw it go off there uh, as well. The Turned is good also. I think a lot of people enjoy using that one. Um, the trouble with it is it only it only ends up taking about five or six zombies out. Uh, although you can have more than one turn zombie at a time, by the way. Uh, and the thing is, he kind of runs around and can get in your way a little bit. So actually, if you've got a huge pack of zombies in your zombie train, I personally, at this point in time, think that you're better off using an area of effect like the Blast Furnace. Or the fireworks effect and they seem to kill the zombies pretty much uh, pretty much straight away at any round at least any round that I've got up to and I've got up to some very high rounds in this map so it is uh, pretty OP and definitely worth using as an alternative if you do happen to run out of ammo uh, in your Naralakwa Abguath <laughs> Or whatever yours is called uh, when you get the Wonder Weapon. So, yeah. That is uh, that is pretty awesome. 
All right, so now in the uh, footage here, you're going to see me run off to try and find an active gobble gum machine so we can refresh our gobble gum and see what we can get there to help us out. Uh, also, I'm going to be hitting any purple pods we come across to try and get a max ammo. I've got a fair bit of ammo anyway, but it's just a good, a good idea to do. If you do run out of ammo or get low on ammo as an alternative way of replenishing. The other thing, by the way, with the gobble gum machines, if you happen to get a, uh, uh, a fire sale drop, they will actually become active in all locations as well as the mystery boxes and only cost 10 points, which is pretty cool in this map. I'm also going to head through here to replenish the old zombie shield. So you want to do this in between rounds when necessary. Now I'm just going to skip ahead here in the game to show you guys uh, a little bit of footage. I'm switching to using Widow's Wine here. You're not going to actually see it, see too much of its effect uh, in this video. And I personally don't like using it myself for high rounds or for this map uh, due to um, some downsides with you know, unexpectedly causing zombies to die, blocking you off due to zombies freezing and visual effects and stuff like that. I don't really like using it myself. But uh, I'm going to show you guys an amazing function of the Civil protect Protector robot. So this is why you want to have the Civil Protector running at all times, if at all possible. You're going to see me get down here. I get uh, attacked by a stealth zombie who creeps up behind me and just windmills me to death. And what happens here, you'll see the Civil Protector robot will actually revive me, just like a regular co-op player would. And even more incredibly, I keep my quick revive. Now, what's amazing about this is, you can actually, it appears that you can actually do this an infinite number of times to continually replenish your quick revive past the normal three times you would buy it uh, from the perk machine. So I can, I've actually tested this in this game, and you actually do get more than the three quick revives. I'm not sure, like, if there's a limit to it at some point, but it appears like it's an infinite amount of quick revives, which is amazingly good news for if you're going for really high rounds, as long as you keep the Civil Protector active. And while it does cost 2,000 points for the Civil Protector, in the high rounds you can easily, easily pay for that. Uh, especially if you're relying on your wonder weapon to kill the zombies rather than the traps. Anyway, I'm just going to head through and grab my jug. And uh, I'm going to skip ahead now to some higher rounds, guys. What I'm going to show you is the perfect high round solo strategy. The one that I pretty much got nailed down uh, and tested to perfection in this gameplay. What you want to do is you want to start the round after you've replenished your gobble gum and got a new zombie shield. You want to start the round here in the waterfront district, just outside this entrance to the rift. There's a very conveniently placed switch that we just hit to uh, summon the civil protector robot. So then you want to move as quick as you can down the alley and into the rift portal. And you're going to be training in this area of the rift again, just as we have through much of the higher rounds of this, uh, this gameplay here. So you just want to make sure that you head through that alley alleyway uh, as quickly as you can. Uh, as soon as round starts, because the zombies will definitely spawn in there super fast and uh, can block you off if you're not careful. But I mean, if you've got the wonder weapon, you should uh, should be good even if that happens, as long as as you fire off a uh, a portal or a black hole or whatever the heck that effect is. Now, the other thing that I'm going to demonstrate to you guys in this uh, in this footage is just how incredible the uh, alchemical antithesis gobblegum is uh, for using this wonder weapon in the high rounds. So, as I've said before, the uh, huge problem that you run into in the high rounds when you're using a wonder weapon like this to get the kills is ammunition. Ammunition is by far the most valuable resource in zombies uh, when you're doing high rounds. Uh, unless it's a, a map where you're doing where you're doing uh, a trap strategy but in this map ammo is key all right so I can't emphasize that enough so the alchemical antithesis gobble gum uh, what that gives you is two activations that you can use at any time uh, when you need to of uh, a short period of time where any points that you get will be translated into ammunition in the gun that you're using so for a weapon that is extremely powerful, but has very little actual ammunition, like the uh, Wonder Weapon that we're using, it's going to get a ton of points, 
as soon as you fire off a single shot, because it's killing so many zombies. Uh, but that's going to basically refill your entire weapon's ammunition in a single shot. So even if you have like one shot left in the weapon, you can activate uh, our chemical antithesis <laughs> and you will get back a completely full uh, reload of ammunition for this weapon. And when you've got two activations uh, and you can spam the weapon while that effect is active, that is just hugely powerful. And as I've said before, in my opinion, that's one of the most valuable gobble gums in the game because even the rare gobble gums that will allow you to spawn in a max ammo, that's only a single max ammo. And although it's for both weapons, you're very unlikely to be relying on your secondary weapon in these higher rounds. Although, as I've said before, you can uh, actually get pretty decent kills with the, uh, you know, with the um, alternate ammo types. Uh, there's a risk in having that weapon out in that you can't get rid of zombies on a guaranteed basis if you get blocked off. So I'm just going to show you guys also the trap here uh, at round 50. And as you can see, the zombies pretty much just ran straight through that thing. And uh, the first time round, it chopped off a few limbs, chopped off a few heads. Uh, but the second time round, it should, it should kill them. So you can run them back and forth through that trap. Uh, if you do really get desperate for ammo, but to be honest, I got to round 50 here uh, in this map using the Wonder Weapon continuously for kills, and with the amount of drops as well as the special uh, rounds where you, where you get the guaranteed max ammo drop from the the flying bugs and stuff like that, uh, I never actually had a genuine problem of looking like I was running out of ammo. But I mean, if you were going to round 100 or whatever. A world record or something like that there is a possibility that with the sheer number of zombies and the uh, the drops uh, being limited per round that you would eventually run into a problem of a lack of ammo uh, plus you can only get one gobble gun per round so uh, it would definitely become a problem later on uh, if you didn't get one out of a pod uh, then you would probably have to start using traps at some point or rerunning the box to uh, try and get the wonder weapon back Okay, so just a second uh, second demonstration of pretty much the same thing here on round 51. So if you had only wanted to come to this series to see, you know, the run that you do um, in the really high rounds, these last couple of rounds are probably the ones that you want to check out. I know some people that do high round strategies, they'll just show like three minutes of their, of their you know, their, their training strategy and that's it. So, I mean, if that's, if that's all you're after, this part of the video is for you. But as I said before, I like to do these strategy videos um, and show you every single little thing that I do because in some of these maps, the easiest part is when you're already set up and you're at round 50 like this. And I can tell you that um, despite the fact that we did have some downs there and tried out some different perks and, and experimented a fair bit, I felt as if I could just keep on going forever, but unfortunately I had limited time because of, you know, just about to leave for overseas travel and stuff like that, have to get things ready. Um, but I really felt that I could have gone much, much higher very, very easily, uh, especially using the Quick Revive Civil Protector um, symbiosis type strategy. Now, if you have enjoyed this solo high round strategy series for this map, Shadows of Evil, Please consider checking out my channel and subscribing if you found it useful because I have these sort of guides, in-depth strategy guides for all the Zombies maps back from World at War, Black Ops, Black Ops 2 and uh, you may enjoy going through and, and watching some of those if you play a lot of Zombies to help you out with in-depth analysis of each of the maps and strategies you can use. But uh, I'm just about to demonstrate a couple more things before we do finish this series in this video. One of those is the Alchemical Antithesis Gobble Gum. So I only have three rounds left in my Wonder Weapon right here. If we pop it now, fire off a single shot of the Wonder Weapon, it will trade points for ammunition. And you'll see I get back instantly full ammunition. Absolutely amazing. I don't use exactly the same Gobble Gum loadout, by the way, for all the maps. Like, for instance, the Giant because it's a different style of map altogether. In that map, uh, the high rounds are achieved by using traps, for example, and also uh, there's a really good camping strategy you can use to get to about round 40 solo, uh, 
Uh, some people might consider that a pretty decent high round, um, and that is a very simple strategy. So almost anyone can get to round 40. Uh, you just need to you, know, you need to concentrate a little bit, but apart from that, it's pretty simple. But after that, you do have to run traps. So it's a completely different uh, strategy that you use for the giant, and for that reason, there are some different gobble gums that that are more important in that map from the ones that I'm using here. So you can look forward to that, but as I said, I'll also be doing some challenge videos, uh, maybe a few more guides and things like that, although they've pretty much been done to death by every man and his dog on YouTube. It's just crazy how, how many people are like, you know, it's weird because people that don't even play zombies will jump on the bandwagon to try and get views on their videos and stuff like that. Uh, it's just, it's just insane. It really is. Like, people will hate on zombies and, like, say they're never playing zombies again and they're sick of zombies, they're bored of zombies. And then, as soon as zomb a new zombies comes out, they'll be playing it again, trying to get the views. Uh, it's, it's kind of annoying, you know, when you've been around since day one and pretty much still love zombies the whole way through. Anyway, what are you going to do? There's Most of the zombies community is awesome. Awesome people. Um, some, some of the best people you'll ever meet. But there's just one or two elements... Both on the Zombies YouTube side of things, which is not really the Zombies, same thing as the Zombies community, um, and in some other areas of the community that, you know, you will have a few bad eggs. Okay guys, we're going to finish up here with some footage of the new Little Arnie. Yes, I did eventually get Little Arnie. <laughs> I think it was about around 50 something or other. And uh, it's basically the Monkey Bomb equivalent for this map. It's really cool looking effect. Check it out. So we throw it down here, and it, it spawns like a crazy squid creature that attracts the zombies and, like, totally destroys them. So there you go. Anyway, guys, that is the series for this map. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Sleepy Jim out. Thanks for watching.